Hey everyone, Heidi Cooper here. I hope you're having a wonderful Wednesday. So today I wanted to tackle the subject of puffy eyes and dark circles around the eyes. This has been a question that I have been asked for years and years and years. You know, what are some treatments that can be done, products to work with, and yes, there are things like the lymphatic drainage and um, massage that helps to get circulation up in the skin around the eye area that can certainly help shift that fluid around the eye area and, and help with the circulation with some of the dark circles. However, you guys know I'm always looking to address root cause and why is that going on in the first place. So I wanted to cover some of those things today for people that may not know the root cause reason sometimes for why that puffiness is there or why some of those dark circles are there. So each of my clients on their first visit in to see me gets this face mapping chart that kind of shows the different areas of the face and what they correlate with internally. And if you haven't seen that before, feel free to reach out. I'll be happy to send it to you. But if you look on that face mapping chart and you see the different organs and the different areas of the body that correlate with the things on the face to the organs internally, it's pretty accurate, I found over the years. And so the eyes are always liver and kidney. So if somebody has had um, persistent issues or um, more puffiness or dark circles, it's definitely worth considering taking a look at what's going on with liver and kidney function there. Something's not functioning the way that it's supposed to if we have a, just a situation that's pretty um, persistent and really problematic for the individual. So that's, that's where I would go first and foremost with that. Another thing to look at is um, I have seen food allergies be really a big problem as far as inflammation goes too. So for instance, years ago before I took gluten out of my diet, you could see pictures of me where my whole face was just so inflamed. I would wake up and think, oh my goodness, like I, I felt like the marshmallow man. You know, when I woke up in the morning, my eyes were so puffy, they were almost swollen shut. And then now after I have taken gluten out, you can actually see my eyes when I wake up in the morning. So it can be a pretty remarkable difference there too, just because of the inflammatory response that the body's having from gluten. And it's interesting because a lot of times when I have clients that come in to see me, I can tell just by looking at their face and the inflammation, um, if that might be something that we need to address and something for them to consider removing from their diet as well. So those are some great places to start. Um, another thing is the dark circles under the eyes can be reflective of adrenal issues. So if there are other issues going on, like a lot of fatigue or lightheadedness um, upon standing after you've been sitting for a while, there might be some adrenal issues going on there where you get some of the dark circles under the eyes a little bit there too. And there's testing and things that we can do to kind of address if that might be what's going on. Another one with the dark circles under the eyes is it can be a dairy allergy. So, and they're called shiners. So you'll get like this darkness under the eyes and it's, it's just a, the body's response and inflammatory re response to dairy that some people have, that they'll get some of those, the shiners under the eyes like that too. So just a few helpful tips, things to consider there are always great products and treatments to work with topically. That's one part of it. But if we don't address the internal piece, we'll just never get the results that we're looking for. So hopefully that was helpful for you. I hope you have a super fantastic rest of your day. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out and please like and share this post if it was helpful for you. I really do this for you guys. I want people to get some of this information that they may not get anywhere else. Um, we're kind of a unique situation in that we work on the holistic end of skincare. We work from the inside out, from the skin side out, and we work with the topical products and treatments as well. So um, if this was helpful for you, for you, please, once again, like and share it. Um, health and happiness. Have a super fantastic day. Thanks so much.